Game Maker How To. Use doors in your rooms to go to other rooms. Uh, but let's say you have 10 doors and you don't want to actually make 10 door objects. How can you use just one door and use that same door, for example, like this? And you have that same door object, but it just knows that this door should go to you know the next room over this way, and this door should go to the room that's over this way, and etc. You still have those same doors in other rooms as well. So one door object, and put all the code into that one door that handles switching rooms. Okay, here's the basics. I've already got it coded in, and I'm just going to going to show you uh, what my logic was. Now, part of my logic when doing this was. I kept doors on the right hand side of the screen, clearly on the right hand side of the screen, and then I have doors in other rooms that are clearly on the left hand side of the screen. So the idea is that left hand doors sort of go left and right hand doors will go over to the right when going through the list of rooms. So you'll see here I've got just a couple rooms just to test me out. All I've done here is I've said when the player hits a door, Basically, there's my code. Now, here's the nice thing. If you just keep in mind the room list here, right? The first room is room zero. If you're not familiar, when the player hits a door, I'm just going to ask a question here. If room equals room zero, this is just a variable that keeps track of which room you're in. So this is built into GameMaker, and you can always access it. So the variable is called room. And so I'm just checking which room I'm currently in. So if I'm in room room 0, then I want that door. That was the only door I had in that room. I can just by default say, go to room 1. So I pop over to room 1. Else, if the room I'm in is room 1, which was the second room. Now this room had two doors. And I'm just going to distinguish them because when I plan my little game out here, that this one's on the right-hand side, this one's on the left-hand side. But remember, I'm touching a door, so I'm just going to say, if I'm in room 1, and at the same time, my X position is less than 200, I must be on the left-hand side of the screen there. I know that's the left door, I'm going back to room 0. Otherwise, if I'm in room 1 and my X position is on the right-hand side of the screen, right, bigger than 600, I know that must be the right-hand door, and I'm going to room 2. The last room only had one door, so I could just say, hey, if I'm in room 2, go back to room 1. Now, true, this can get a little long. There's actually more advanced ways to do this that use arrays or maps that can make it more efficient. But for the beginner, even if you have, you know, 10, 12 rooms, this isn't too bad. You have a screen of ifs. It works and it's fairly simple, and it avoids you having to have a whole bunch of these door objects, you know, 15 door objects, 20 door objects, just to do this one little simple task. Now, if you sort of like the site and you are going to use it, I recommend you go and watch the video called Player Position Switching Rooms, because one thing you will notice using this method is you want to make sure your player's in the right part of the room when they come back into a room. And so that video uh, shows you a method to handle that. So that one was player position switching rooms. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you can use that in your program.